Hello everyone, Gabriel here, and today we are going to learn how to create a database connection so we can then look up certain fields and map others inside Chronoscan. The first step, let's create a new job and I will run the job wizard here. That's going to be database barcode lookup because we are going to use barcodes. I'm, I will enable barcode reading and disable those not needed fields. I will click on next. We have single image documents. I will click on next again. I will select generic fields and we only need three fields. That is the barcode reading. We are going to use customer. That will be for the customer name and customer ID for the identification number for the customer. I will click on next and next again. And now I just click on finish. Now let's create our first batch. That's going to be database barcodes lookup. There we go. I will create the batch. And now we can either import the documents or we can set up the database connection. I will set up the database connection first because we are talking about barcode reading. That means that the barcode reading will happen when we import our files. To have the database connection set up, I have to go here on the form panel. And if you don't have it, just click on the panels button up here. And I am in the scan input tab. I will click on this little links with external database button here on the form panel again and that will show up the database search window and the first thing i have to do is to set up a database connection you can see here chronoscan will ask me for the configuration name and for that i will just create a new one and i'm going to call it barcodes lookup that's very important because you probably want to name everything so you don't get lost now, Chronoscan asks, asks me for a database connection. And for this tutorial, I will just set it up using the options button here. And you can see I have the database connections button here and I already have a database connection. I will just remove it so you can see how to create it. I will click on the add button. It asks, asks you for the name, barcode lookup. I will just click OK. And now you can see the configuration window for the data link for the database connection. First thing I will change, I will go to the provider. I will use the JET module because I have a access database file, but you can select any ODBC or whatever you need here. There are every option you would need. I will go on connection and select my file. You can see it is on the desktop. I will just select it. I will test the connection and you see it's good. I just click OK. And then I will finish it by clicking OK. I don't need to set up passwords or anything else. I just click OK and you can see here the connection is created. And when I click check connection, it tells me the connection is OK. Now that the database connection is set up, I will close it. And now I will select it here on the drop down menu. If you want to create other connections, you can just open this button, the options button and keep adding connections here. And if you want to edit, just click on the edit connection button. Now I will select the connection I want. We don't have any schema, but you can select the right one here. And now we can select the table. If we click on the options button here, you can navigate through your bar, your databases and see what kind of data you have on them so you can be sure of the table you want. This is a very simple example, a, uh, just to demonstrate how to do it. And you can see here we have a lookup field, map field and customer ID. Those are exactly the fields I have on my job when I set it up. After making sure I'm on the correct table, that's, that's only one table here, but I will click OK and select that single table. I can set up some errors here to happen if I if those things happen. 
I want to mark an error if there is a connection error. I want to set as error if we don't have a lookup on the database. And I want to set the field with an error if we don't have a lookup key. And now we can set the link type and where the data will be coming from the database. For the document type, I won't set anything that's chronoscan's uh, own document type fields. On the barcode reading, that's the one I want to use as a lookup field. I will just select lookup here and I will be looking up from the lookup field on the database, as you can see here. Now, for the customer name, I want to map from the database to map that field from the database and that's going to be map here and for the customer id i will select map field again and now i will use customer id and that should be enough you can have several lookup keys but that will be coming on a later tutorial and also those other a little bit more advanced options also will be coming on a later tutorial. I will click on save and that will have my configuration saved here. If I open it, you can see all the settings are as I left them. I'll click save again. And now let's import our documents. Here we go. I will import those. The first one actually have an error. And as you can see, because it is a barcode reading, I don't need to process anything. Chronoscan will automatically do the lookup for me and let's take a look here let's see the barcode reading and let's make sure that the database is correct we can see here commercial press that's perfect commercial press as we move along let's take a look at a couple more just to make sure it is working perfectly and our database is healthy printing them dimensions that's perfect customer ID number two. So that's it guys. That's how you set up your database connection and have your lookup fields. I hope you liked it and I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye bye.